Welcome, welcome to See Sparkles Corner. Today we're going to make a special treat. We're going to do a product test and we're going to make Oreo cupcakes. Yay! Alright, <laughs> it's the recipe that's on the back and it says it's the kids' favorite, but I figured well, let's give it a try, shall we? Alright, with that you're going to need four tablespoons of butter, one and a third cups of milk, a medium mixing bowl, you need a mixer for one thing, and you need a 12 cupcake tins. That, oh, and needs, also your materials. Yeah, and you need to have this and, and a refrigerator. room in there to put it in, which is in this house, it can be a challenge sometimes. Okay, so let's get to it. What's in it? Let's see what's in the box. We got, it says Oreo on it. Okay, this feels cookie like crumbs. it's the cookie crumbs. Oh, this is w number one, the cross mix. Number two, the filling mix. All right, let's start with the crust. Mm, let me get a pair of scissors. All right, we're going to start with the cross mix. All right, what you do it is you want all your crust mix to go down there so you can see through the bag. So then you can cut it at the top like this. Put it in there. Oh, it's nice and chocolatey. Looks like coffee. And your four tablespoons of melted butter goes right into it. And then you want to stir you want to stir it to get every crumb moistened. And then we need to divide it kind of equally to go on the bottom a little bit of each of them. After we get it all moistened. Yep. You can tell it's all moistened when it kind of looks moistened. <laughs> This is a fun new recipe. I have never done this before, so this is going to be fun for all of us. I'm not having fun. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, would you like to, since you want to have it spoil no, on the fun? No, I'm going to go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, now we're going to divide it equally amongst them. So before you start squishing it down, let's kind of try to measure that because we want to kind of clump. <laughs> Divide it equally as best as we can. Yeah. You, you gotta kind of eye it because I don't know the exact measurements for each of them, but we want to get some of the chocolate base into each of them. Don't so mind if I do. And to let everybody know, I had just washed my hands thoroughly. You always do. Before I started. Yes, I do. I'm very finicky when it comes to kitchen sanitary. <laughs> the remainder is the one you got to scoop off the spoon. <laughs> yeah. Scoop it off the spoon. Yeah, we get that remainder off there. Or we can... We do can... it the old fashioned way. All right. Now, here's the fun part. Now we want to take and kind of push it down to the bottom Aww. Aww. of each one of these, equally covering the bottom. Did you on that how you could do the whole other side thing? And if we have some that don't have it covered on the bottom, this is where you can kind of, you know, change <laughs> in between each of them. Distribute some. Give me some. <laughs> We've got to do it between each and every one of these. You want to cover your bottom with the chocolate bits. Pushing down with your spoon. 
Melissa? I'm right-handed. This isn't working out well for me. Yeah, and you just got to do it one at a time until you've done each and every one of them. Get your chocolate well, covering the bottom, because this is going to be your bottom layer. And this is the part where if one is shy of not enough, you can move from another until you can get all of them covered on the bottom. <laughs> you know, I'll let her do it. <laughs> like this one has too much, so this can go over here. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Pushing it over. No, no, I'm taste testing this part. I like it. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to show you how to serve these two. All right. All right, now. This one needs... You don't want to just see any holes on the bottom. That's the idea of it. Kind of. Patting it down. Okay. Oh, this one isn't even. If you go, if you see like you missed something, just go back over to it until your entire bottom is covered on each and every one of them. This I don't, I thought I did better there and I didn't. Come on and push. All right. Now we're done the first layer. Okay, we're done with these. We'll just put this out of the way and wash my hands again. All right, now we're ready for phase two. All right, phase one is done. So this can go into recycling. We're, now we're ready for phase two, which is the filling mix. All right, now we're gonna do like we did on the other one. We wanna get all of the filling mix to down the bottom, so we can do that. All right, add milk into your mixer. The entire amount of milk, it's one and a third cups. I want you to miss the drop, that's, it's off topic. All right, and then we're gonna cut this and we're gonna add the filling mix. All right, we're gonna start it off slowly because the powdery stuff is on the top. Lock it, all right. Stir, you hit stir for 30 seconds. And then we're going to do three minutes on medium after all Let's go. Medium. For three minutes. These are gonna come out. Oh, I want some. Oh, well, they're for the pit too. All right, it's already come out. It hasn't been three minutes yet. Has it? No. They're not under beat. Okay. Measuring cup is one half. 
All right, we need to reserve this. We're going to see why. Yep. <laughs> Have you been munching on them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, are we ready yet? It has been three minutes, so yes. Has it been three minutes? Yeah. All right. All right. I relied on Chris to time it. Okay. Let's put this in the sink. This is what we're going to do now. You need to make this at least a minimum of three hours before you plan on eating it. Unlock it. Chris, the taste tester, will now try this new product. Let's, let's take this out. And Chris can try the vanilla. Mm. All right, now take your spoon. All right, this is what you're gonna do. Take your spoon. And gently mix it up. This isn't going to be thick like cake or anything. Vanilla pudding flavor. But it's going to be different, all right? Now take the remainder. You see I saved a half a cup and put them in here. Mm. Put it right in there. All right, so this is like cookies and cream type of thing. Now take your spoon and gently you want to use a folding motion. Like this. I just can't wait till those things are done. Chris likes my cooking. Ha! Ah. <laughs> no spoiling. All right, now, when it looks like this, you're done. Now we're going to take your tablespoon and we're going to try to do it as best we can to equalize it to give everybody some. Yum! Get it in there, like this. Yeah, I'm telling you. This makes 12. It looks delicious. So I'm guessing you get four, I get four, David gets four, or I get ten, you get one, David gets one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the I'm, I'm pretty sure it's very even if I get ten. <laughs> it's because the zero is just a second number, and which technically if you take away the zero, it just counts as one. So I'm technically having just one. Well, just the zeros added to look cool. Friends, Chris knew I had planned on making this several days ago. I'm waiting for it too, just at the time when she makes pork when she takes too long. <laughs> he missed pork loin one day. <laughs> I did. Yeah. You it, him. it was on my birthday, okay? <laughs> yeah, you weren't here, so you Want to do that. something. <laughs> <laughs> went to adventure. He went to adventure landing, I guess? No, no. I just went on an adventure. Okay, now okay. we're going a second tablespoon on everybody. I'm pretty sure it's very equal if I get that. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh. oh, she mixed it in there. I was so close to getting it. You don't get to eat one. You have to wait till they're done. <laughs> Four of them are yours. Okay, so let's count. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Four. And two for you guys, right? <laughs> See, one, two, three, four. She said four rows are mine, one row is hers, and one row is David's. I'm telling you, that is exactly what she's saying. Four. One, two, three, four. Rows. All right. Now this is what we're going to do. Now we're going to level these to the best of our ability. Each of these. Now don't cover you don't want to cover these. You're gonna just go in just how they're at.
All right, now we're done with that pot. Mm. Now, I'm gonna show you the Going leftovers. Okay, now we're gonna take these leftovers and we're gonna put them on top for decoration, see? Oh, most of those weren't mine. We're gonna put some on top of each of your cupcakes. And if you want to do this with your fr your kids, let them put the little toppings on so they'll just so they'll feel like they're more of it. And even distribute the bottom part too. Actually, right, the whole thing is kid friendly. Make it yeah, easy. Yeah, this is a recipe. Except for the mixing. <laughs> I suggest you know you want it's something for you you and your kids to do together. <clears throat> to give them family moment type of thing. Toss some sprinkles on there too. Well, one is going to get sprinkles. Alright, now these are ready to be chilled in your freezer for two hours. I wanted to do something. Okay. Okay, I'm going to see you in two hours. It is now quarter of four, so quarter of six, these will be done. Nice. I'll see you then, my friend. Hey, welcome back, and here they are, all finished. I'm taking this. I'm taking this right now. This Wait, show actually, the camera. Show the camera. That's, that, that's it. This okay. is the finished product one Th This is what it looks like. Oh. Now, this is what it looks like when I'm eating it. Here it is. Well, since you're eating, you hold the camera. <laughs> Isn't this not you awesome? See this? I'm eating this. By the way, this, in case y'all didn't know, that's Chris and that's Cheese Broccoli right there. Oh, I, I would yeah. never know. Cupcakes with no baking. Wow. Oh! <laughs> Here it is. Make sure you put the cupcakes in it. That way it's easy to lift up. Use cupcake paper. And then do this. And then they get to do this. Mmm! Mmm-mmm. It's really good. Ah. Mm. Oh, is it good? I give it a two thumbs up. Give it a try. Mmm. And I'll have another bite. Uh oh. <laughs> Freya. I'm putting them in the fridge. <laughs> We're not all going to eat all 12. Freeze up. Fine, we'll put them in the freezer. Okay, he's probably gonna have two. I'm gonna get my sprinkle on that. You wanna know? Oh yeah, I can help myself. Cool. You see that? I grab some of that. Uh-uh! <laughs> Man! <laughs> that a dog wants someone. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking over. Like, right, you know what's that? Freezer. Thank you. Jeez. We should take baths if they last till tomorrow. I doubt it. I already ate two of them. You're eating two of them. What time I made brownies? He's eating two of them. What time I made brownies? Didn't make it 24 hours. Didn't even make an hour. Mm. We should have recorded that. It's so good. And then we got four hundred good piece. <laughs> it's so good. Give it a try. Thank you for watching. As always, the fun never ends in Zee Sparkles Corner. Feel free to share. Feel free to subscribe. We appreciate all of our viewers, subscribers, and Patreon, everybody. We love all of you. Hugs and kisses from Zee Sparkles Corner to you. This is really good. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.